And today we talk about gratefulness. So, what are you grateful for? And my second uh, favorite question is, what are you looking forward to? So these are my two super questions I'm always asking myself. And I think that's kind of like the first action. So let's start with action today. Let's not just start with concepts. Let's just start with doing something. So there is um, some proof out there that if you do like um, a gratitude journal, so noting down um, every night um, things that you are grateful for, that that actually can kind of like lift your mood and your, your well-being. Um, I'm always thinking it has to be something that's more practical. So I mean, maybe you love journaling, so please go ahead and do it. But I think you have to do it in a way that kind of like fits into your daily life. Um, so I always do this little exercise with my two small children. And so at bedtime, um, not every night, but um, often I ask, so what is like one thing you're grateful for um, during the day? So what can we say thank you for today? And what is one thing that excites you and that you're looking forward to? And by doing that, um, you really kind of like get into a different, I think, mindset and shift. And you can do this, I don't know, when you're sitting down to dinner with someone, you can do it, as we were saying by yourself, noting it down. You can, of course, also have just a self-talk with yourself. Go for a walk and just say, what am I grateful for? But the thing is, it really shifts our perspective um, and so that's kind of like for you but then I think the second component is also to think about others so expressing your gratitude also to others so more often thinking about um, what can you say thank you for or what do you appreciate a person for and I think we often forget this we often only complain if we don't like something but we forget to say the nice things and there's some research out there for relationships I think it's true it's like the five one ratio so for every one nasty or mean thing you say you have to do five nice things to keep the balance but I think this is not only for like relationships I think for everything we should remember so and um, maybe become a little bit more aware and think about it so even at work um, do you give more compliments or do you only um, like have conversations when something is not working? So make sure you express that regularly. So gratitude for yourself and gratitude for expressing others. And apparently the research tells us um, if you are being grateful and expressing that gratefulness, it's not only positive for the person you're saying thank you to, but also for a third person who witnesses that. So just by witnessing like an act of kindness or gratitude, actually, that also makes other people feel better. So there was a, a research study that I saw the other day and I thought, that's really cool. So people, ask yourself, what are you grateful for and what are you looking forward to? And if you do that, then we have our glass half full and not half empty. See you next time.